In this video I'll be showing the new compass and cross section overlay when staking out in the map view in Magnet version 5. Both GPS and total stations can be used with these applications as they are a new feature of the stakeout routines. Once connected to your GPS we will go into stake and then stake line work. We'll select the string that we want to stake out and then go next. We'll leave it on chainage and no offsets being applied and then hit next. We can now see we're in the stake map view. You will notice that the compass from normal view can now be overlaid in the map view with your data visible in the background. To turn this on and off we can go up into the map properties icon which is a map with a grey cog symbol on the right hand side. We will then hit the map symbol on the first tab and on the right hand side we can see on map view you have a compass option. Simply tick this off and hit the green tick and now you'll notice that the normal compass view has disappeared. Again to turn it back on go back into the map properties icon and tick compass and hit the green tick. As we navigate to the point we'll see that the normal compass needle is moving as well as the map view. If you hold down on the screen you have a couple of options to move the compass around the screen to where you've pressed or you can assign it to the center of the screen and as we get closer to the point just like in normal view you'll see that there will be a left and a right and a forward and a back arrow appear with distance values assisting you to navigate to the point. We can quickly go back into stake normal view and we can see here that you only have the normal compass view with no map overlay. And if we go back to stake map, we can continue navigating to the point. Once you are happy and over the point, the normal compass will turn green. Also the map target icon will go green and now you can simply hit the save button to store the point. Hit the green tick to accept. We will now navigate back to home by hitting the home symbol up the top right and we'll go into map. From the map screen, we can highlight a line, hold down and go stake slope. This is just another way to get into the stake routine. We will hit next because we have selected the correct line and we'll go next. We are not applying any offsets or any curves and go next. Now we want to enter in the slope values of one is to three for cut and fill. And once these have been entered, we can simply hit next. If using any of the roading stakeout views like stake road, stake slope, stake alignment, you'll have an extra map view option of cross section as well. This is because cross section can be used as its own stake view for all of the roading function. And now this has been included as well as compass for an overlay in the stake map view. As we can see here in the state map view, we have the cross section and compass view overlaid in the map. As we navigate to the point, we can see both the cross section and compass overlays update as well as the map all in real time. And again, like before, we can hold down on the screen and we can have the option to move the compass, move the section view to where you have pressed on the screen or move the compass to this center. And to turn these views off and on, again, we can go up into the map properties icon on the right hand panel. And on the general tab, we under map view, we can turn compass and cross section view on and off as desired and hit the green tick to accept any changes. And as we navigate closer to the point, we can see the cross section view is updating. We are getting close to our catch point and also the compass view will give you distance to and left and right of the point. We will close out of the state slope routine and go back to the map view and we will turn on our surface that we want to stake out by going to the map properties across to the surface tab. Turn on our natural surface and then we'll hold down on the surface and go stake and then on stake surface screen we'll simply hit stake we can see here in the stake map view, if we go into the map properties icon again on the general tab, you'll notice that there is no normal compass view or cross section view option. This is because the stake surface routine doesn't have these extra options. 
because it doesn't have a predefined point or line to navigate to. If we close out of the staked surface routine and we navigate back to the main screen of magnet field, we'll go into stake and then point and we'll just go to the nearest point and we can see in the stake point option that you have the compass view or the normal view only. And if we go into the map properties icon again on the general tab, you can turn the compass on and off as desired. As mentioned before, now we are using a total station and we have the same compass and cross section views in the map view when staking out. From the main screen of magnet field, we'll go into stake and then point and we'll use the nearest point option again and go next. And we can see here that we have the normal or compass view overlay as well when using the total station and the forward and left and right directional controls in relation to the total station. And again, we can hold down in the map view to move the compass around to the finger press or to the center of the screen. And to turn the compass view on and off, we go into the map properties icon on the general tab and tick or untick compass as desired. If we navigate back to the home screen of magnet field, and this concludes the magnet 5 how to video showing the new compass and cross section stake views when staking in map.